Hey there everybody, Sage Popham here, founder of the School of Evolutionary Herbalism. And today I wanna to talk with you about the difference between essential oils and infused oils. You know, in modern day herbalism, essential oils are becoming increasingly more and more popular. We're seeing a lot of really big companies out there, mass manufacturing all these essential oils, and a lot of them are being promoted a lot for topical usage, but also for internal usage. And one thing that we're seeing with the increasing popularity of the essential oil industry is an overlooking of kind of the more traditional way of preparing herbs with oil, and that's through infused oils. So really the main difference that we see between an essential oil and an infused oil is that an essential oil is prepared through distilling the fresh plant material to just extract the volatile portions of the plant. And uh, typically, you know, most plants that contain essential oils have very small amounts of them. So you can be distilling 10, 20, 50 pounds of plant material and get, you know, maybe an ounce or two, depending on the plant, of those essential oils. Very small yield. And really from the alchemical perspective, these essential oils of plants are what we call the sulfur of the plant or the soul of the plant. And this is one of the three core philosophical principles that we see in plants, the sulfur, the mercury, and the salt. So really from the alchemical understanding of a plant, the essential oil is really considered one third of the medicinal property of the plant. And the thing about the essential oils of a plant is that really for most of us home herbalists, we can't really prepare those ourselves. They require more involved, you know, distillation equipment and it's a little bit more complicated to prepare your own home essential oils. But the infused oils are much more readily accessible for all herbalists to prepare. And the main difference between an essential oil and infused oil is that with an infused oil, you're taking that plant material and you're extracting it in a carrier oil, such as olive oil or jojoba oil. And what we see with those infused oils is that we're actually drawing off a much broader spectrum of the plant's biochemical profile than just an essential oil. And what we see with the infused oils is that not only are you getting a broader spectrum of the plant's chemistry, but you're also able to extract plants that actually you can't really distill into an essential oil. I mean, two of our most popularly extracted oils um, into carrier oils are things like calendula and plantain, right? These are not plants that you can distill and get these essential oils out of, but when you prepare it as an infused oil, they have this incredibly profound healing benefit. And what we see with those infused oils is that they can be used both topically as well as internally much more safely than essential oils because essential oils are so incredibly concentrated actually a lot of them can be pretty unsafe for internal use and i know this is a big area of controversy in modern herbal medicine but what we see with those infused oils is that they have a broader spectrum of medicinal potency than just those pure distilled essential oils and one of the practices that we see adopted from the Ayurvedic tradition, who really has pretty a fine-tuned system of oil extraction of herbs, is the practice of Abhyanga. And Abhyanga is kind of a, a topical oil massage used with herbally infused oils. And the health benefits of administering herbs in this way is incredibly far reaching, not just topically for, you know, sore muscles or wounds or things like that, but actually the, the medicinal properties of these herbs penetrate through the skin, get into the bloodstream and have systemic effects. And this is incredibly important, especially for what in Ayurveda they refer to as vata related conditions, typically uh, dryness, tension, nervousness, anxiety, things like that, that what we see in Ayurveda, they say when our, our vata dosha becomes imbalanced and we get that dry condition in the body, it oftentimes affects the nervous system. 
And this is because the nerves are all coated in oils and fats, right? It's, it's what allows the electrical conductivity of the neurons to be effective. And when those oils become deficient, oftentimes the nervous system can become impaired. Uh, it's really common for when people think of dryness to just think in terms of water hydration, but we often don't think in terms of oil hydration. And that hydration of oils is critically important for optimal functioning of the nerves. Uh, a lot of our hormones are actually conducted through the system um, through oils, right? I mean, a lot of our adrenal hormones, androgen hormones, all require an oily medium in order to be effectively transported through the body. And what we see is that through topical administration, of these infused oils helps to balance that excess vata condition in the body. Um, you know, a lot of people that suffer from things like insomnia or nervousness and things like that, uh, oftentimes we really focus on, you know, sedative, nerving, calming type herbal medicines, but actually just through the application of oils can be incredibly beneficial for these vata related imbalances. So really the therapeutic application of these infused oils is incredibly far reaching in their scope in ways that essential oils on their own really can't achieve. And so one of the cool things about this is that every, anyone can prepare an infused oil at home, right? If you've got some plants and you got a jar of olive oil in your kitchen, uh, you can prepare these infused oils for yourself in a way that is much more approachable than having to get all this fancy distillation equipment to prepare essential oils at home. So I just wanted to take some time to talk about that difference. We get this question a lot of like, what's the difference between an essential oil and an infused oil. So I just wanted to shoot this video real quick, sharing with you what some of those differences are and how you can start to incorporate infused oils into your home medicine making practice and uh, really having your apothecary stocked up with some of these very potent herbal medicines that have a very broad spectrum reaching of therapeutic application. So thanks so much for tuning in with me. If you're watching this anywhere but the Evolutionary Herbalism blog, be sure to head on over to evolutionaryherbalism.com and uh, check out all the free content that we've got over there. If you're not subscribed to our podcast, be sure to check it out on iTunes or Stitcher at The Plant Path. And uh, thanks so much for tuning into this episode. And until next time, take care and be well.